mentioned in my last video I was going to do a lot of unboxings for air model airplane kits. I'm going to get straight onto this one. I'm just going to get one out of the box that I've got, do it, give you my last thoughts, and then I'll probably move on to the next one as a separate video. So, next one out of the box, if I just grab it one randomly, right, it's not an air, airplane kit. Tell you, air, one second, second scale, M4A3 Shermans. Now, this is one of their fast assembly kits. It actually has two Sherman tanks in there, and there are roughly, what's it say, 13 parts to each tank. It's got War Games approved, so this is obviously designed for things like Flames of War, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, to use with those or for any of your World War 2 game systems out there so I wouldn't expect these to be very detailed I mean, that's obviously pictures of the kits on the outside, it looks really basic they do for what I want them for from looks of it. Uh, there's a couple more of the range on the sides yeah, a 76mm A4, the uh, King Tiger, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but it's one of the German tanks. So, at one centimetre second scale, these are according to this 8.3 centimetres, 83 millimetres in length. Let's go in the box and have a look. And on the back, it's got the colours. And the same instructions on the back. Very, very basic. Let's have a look at it for itself. What have we got? Basically, two identical sprues, two tanks. Uh, Looking at them, not a lot of flashing on there. I actually don't look, you know, for what I consider a cheap kit, and these were cheap, again, two tanks for about tenner, I think I paid on Amazon. They don't look too bad. They're not vastly detailed, and obviously 13 parts. It's quite easy to see how they go together. Shouldn't take time, too much time to actually assemble these. But yeah, not too bad. Let's have a quick look. The tracks are all in one piece. And on some tank kits, the tracks could be made out of 20 pieces and that. Uh, but these are, as it says, quick assembly. Decal sheet, painting sheet. Very simple, very basic. What well, have we got? Philippines and Germany 1945. ETO 1944 and Ardennes 1944-45. So, well, it's got the transfers on here. You can see the Ardennes one is a different colour, but it doesn't tell you the colours on here. Obviously, the colours are on the back. This particular one, but we've got the Ardennes one. That's not mentioned. However, I think looking at there, there is a separate kit version for it. Uh, where's the decals gone? Quick look at decals again. Monochrome because they are basically white. Not too much glue, adhesive going around, they look fairly tight. Shouldn't be too much hassle putting those on. Uh, on the back of this, I can't even read that, but it's the important information regarding safeties with a kit. Yeah. Instructions on the back, so there's no need for them to be on paperwork. Yeah, it's a nice little quick kit, I suppose, to put together. They probably are a bit too big. I know I said Flames of War at the start, but they're not to scale for Flames of War. That's uh, that 15mm, I can't remember. But they probably could do some of the other gaming systems, like I said, that are out there for a while too. That maybe don't have miniatures made specifically for them. Again, basic kits. I only got them because they were basic. Uh, 
I expect these to be used as destroyed tanks, so why get a kit that's got lots of detail that you're going to wreck and make it look destroyed? A simple kit would be nice for that. These will fill that. Uh, yeah, probably a 5 or 6 out of 10 for these, being so basic. But it is what I expected. I knew these were going to be basic when I got them. I'm trying to get in the box. Come on, get in there. There you go. So, yeah. I knew what I was getting when I got these. I would had seen that it said quick assembly, so I had 13 parts, so I knew there wasn't going to be much to them. 5 or 6 out of 10. Not really much more to say. So, keep your eyes open for the next one.